Hey guys, so am I the only one that can't believe it is already August? If you watched my July wrap up, then you would know I spent the last couple of weeks in a reading slump, which really sucked, but I feel like I'm finally starting to break out of it and I've picked out some books that I'm really excited to read. So I'm hoping this month I can catch up on the rest of my goals and all of the books that I wanted to read. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty busy month for me at work, but I'm determined. I've recently got really into audiobooks, so I think that's gonna help me to achieve my goals this month. So yeah, let's get straight into the seven books that I have on my TBR for this month. Our readathon for a year thon starts next Monday, August 7th, and will go until midnight of the Sunday, August 13th, in whatever time zone that you're in. And our theme for this one is childhood favorites. So I'm kind of continuing this middle grade theme into the rest of my month because there are a lot of books that I want to read, and I think they're going to be fast and easy enough for me to get through without putting me in a slump again. So yeah, I do have a couple books that don't fit that theme, but generally I will be reading middle grade because that's the perfect month. I've been wanting to read middle grade, our theme is childhood books, it's perfect. The first book that I want to read is City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. This is the last time I'll talk about this book in a TBR video, I promise. Um, I am currently reading through this series with my friend Keisha, and we've kind of slacked on this last couple of months, but we are determined. We will be reading this book this month. Like I said, it's the last time I'm going to talk about it in the TBR. I have it as an audiobook right now, so I'm really excited. I picked this one up from my library, and that is The Candy Makers by Wendy Maz. This one gives me major Willy Wonka vibes, as it's about four kids that get chosen to compete in order to come up with the new best candy. So I think it's going to be really cute, and I've heard it's really fun. So the font's really big, and I don't think it'll take me long. This is a little duology, so if I like it, I'll probably pick up the sequel. Maybe not this month, but the next one. So I haven't heard too many people on BookTube talking about it, but... Like I said, gives me Willy Wonka vibes. I love Willy Wonka, so I'm quite looking forward to this. Furthermore, by Tahira Mafi. This book was on my Books to Read in 2017 list, and I don't know why I haven't read it yet. Shot of Me was one of my favorite series, so I am quite looking forward to this. From what I understand, this novel follows a 12-year-old girl named Alice who lives in a magical world, but she is kind of an outcast um, until she goes on an adventure with her friend Oliver, I think to save his father or something. And yeah, so her world is magical and colorful, but she cannot see color. So the plot and the cover both intrigued me, so I'm quite looking forward to picking this up. I think it's going to be fun and really cute, and I love her writing style, so I think this is going to be a good one. Wonder by RJ Policio. I have owned this book for so long. This might be one of the oldest books on my TBR shelf, um, but it's been around booktube for years. Everybody's talked about it, so I won't bore you with the synopsis. But I think they are making it a movie if it's not already out yet, and all that I know is about it's a young boy with a facial deformity. So I think it's going to make me sad. It is one of my favorite covers. I think it's so pretty, it's so simple, but it speaks volumes, and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to be as light as all of the other ones that I've picked, but it is something that I really want to read. And then because I wanted to keep this TBR short and to the point, the last three books that I'm going to talk about, I won't give you a synopsis for because they're just ones that were on my last TBR and that I didn't get to. So I am very excited to read these books. So I still wanted to mention them without boring you with all the details. So I have Take a Chance by Abby Glines, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, and The Love Interest by Kiel Dietrich. So again, really looking forward to all of these. I'm really disappointed I didn't get to them last month, but because I hit the slump, there was just no time for them. So yeah, those are all of the books that I want to read in August. Make sure you let me know what you'll be reading. I want to get through all of these because in September there are some new releases that I want to read as soon as they come out. So yeah, hopefully I can keep up this rule and just stay out of my slump. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye!